Hi, welcome back to McClutchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClutchy and today I'm going to be taking you through some complex questions on Earth geometry. This continues with our Distance on the Earth series aimed at students in Queensland, Western Australia, Victoria and Tasmania. So my aim is to bring to you some different questions, one per video so that it keeps it nice and short and sharp and just take you through how to work the solution. So I would strongly suggest that if you wanted to get the most out of this particular part of the video, Video series is that after I present you with the question you pause the video see if you can have a go by yourself and then we'll go through the solution together. So in this video we're going to be looking at a complex question taken from the QCAA's public mock paper number two which is their complex paper for 2020 and this is question six. At midnight on the 29th of December 2011 the international dateline was moved this resulted in Samoa and Tokelau changing from the eastern side of the dateline to the western side. Determine what time, date and year it is in Samoa one minute after the change and they provide a map in the particular question to help guide your answer. Now I'm not going to go into a great deal of detail about how the international dateline works etc because that was all covered in previous videos. So if you missed those ones it's worth going back and having a watch. Okay firstly Here's our two island groups in question. I've circled those in red on the right hand side, Samoa and Tokelau, and I hope I've pronounced that correctly. Okay, so you would recall, and you would be able to reason this in your head, that firstly, any country on the west of the line, so that's shown on the left hand side of that line, they're gonna experience a new day on the planet first. And countries immediately to the east, that's on the right hand side of that dotted line, are going to experience a new day last. So if we can see those particular countries, they've gone from the eastern side, which is last, to the western side, which is first. So it's important to understand what's happening with the date line. So they were last, they're now going to jump ahead exactly 24 hours because that line's going to move around them. So if we start with where they were, 29th of December 2011, midnight, and we add 24 hours to that, we're going to find that immediately the moment that they moved from one side of the date line to the other at that same instant, it's now 30th of December 2011 at midnight. Now the next part of the question is, midnight, 12am in the middle of the night, is the last minute of the day according to the QCAA solution. So that means that one minute later, it's now going to be 12.01 a.m., which is the first minute of the next day. And this is probably the one little nuance of the question that people will struggle with. Is midnight the first day or is it the next day? A lot of people don't know if it's the last minute of the day or the first minute of the day. Well, according to the QCAA solution, it's the last minute of that day. So therefore, one minute later is the start of the next day. So that means the day is going to jump forward by one more calendar day. So we're going to add one more minute. We're now at 12.01 a.m., no longer on the 30th of December at midnight, but the 31st of December, one minute forward. So that's part of our QCAA solution. So let's have a quick look at how the QCAA has marked this particular question. It's only a three-mark question, so perhaps if you got the last part wrong, moving that year forward or that day forward then you may only lose a mark out of three marks and that's not the end of the world. The main understanding here is understanding what happens when you move from one side of the date line to the other and that's worth a mark. Also knowing that the time has come forward one minute that's worth a mark and then knowing the new date is worth a mark. Now a little bit of controversy. I didn't know that the first minute of the day was 12.01. I always assumed it was midnight, so that was news to me. And in fact, there's many sources on the internet that contradict one another. For example, Wikipedia says that midnight is the transition from one day to the next. That kind of complements what the QCAA is saying. And then we've got Cora, who says that a new day starts at midnight. So that's a contradiction completely. And then we've got another website that says that the day ends at midnight complements what the QCAA said and then we've got another one at a different one who says something that the day starts at midnight and another source here who says that 12am is the next day so there's quite a bit of contradiction there on the internet. So the question that you're going to be asking yourself is what do I do if there's all these different sources saying different things and my textbook didn't cover it so what do I do? Well the answer is 
you cover the position that the QCAA has, and that is that midnight is the end of the day. So that's something very important to remember in case a question comes like this. So the day goes forward at 12.01 a.m. Well, that was a very quick, complex question. Do stay tuned. There will be more coming in the pipeline over the next couple of days. I'm going to cover some more from the mock papers and also QCAA practice papers. And then when the 2020 exam is released for public looking at, then I'll be releasing some extra complex questions on that as well, based on what our 2020 Year 12 students had to face in recent weeks. We have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Thank you.